Hello, this is King205. Today I'll be doing a video on how to make texture packs completely free for Minecraft 1.9 and above. So let's get straight into the video. So at first what you will need is a program called GIMP. It is completely free to simply go to your internet browser and search GIMP.org or go to the link into the description. So basically when you're on the website, just click download 2.8 and I just suggest doing download GIMP directly, but if that doesn't work, just do that. And if it doesn't download at all, I have no idea what to say. And also you will need the 1.10 default texture that basically this is just a texture pack nothing is edited it basically has just everything all the blocks and this is your texture pack so you'll be editing this with GIMP and the download to this will be in the description so go ahead and download that and once you've got them both you want to go ahead and open the texture pack now basically the pack.png is your logo for the texture pack it's basically the cover to your texture pack and I'll get to it later in the video and the pack.mc matter, that's just some code. Yeah, you can't really open it. I don't I can't. And the assets, here is where everything happens. So you wanna go to assets, Minecraft. And here is everything. You can do animations and everything. So I'll be showing you how to change textures. So if you wanna change a texture, basically just go to the textures. It's kind of obvious. And let's say I wanna change the diamond sword. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the diamond sword. Just go down and find it. Now I'm going to head on to GIMP. I already downloaded it, so I was going to search it. So once you have it open, you just want to go to Windows, New Toolbox. And now once you have GIMP opened, you want to go ahead and click File, New. And then I like making it 516 by 516. Any pixel size, as long as it's the same number, and the width and the height. So you can just go ahead and do that. And you, want, and you also want to go to Advanced Options and do fill with transparency. Make sure that's checked. And yeah, just make sure everything is the same as mine, RGB color, and the comment doesn't really matter. So yeah. Well, now that you are in GIMP, you want to go ahead and go to Windows, New Toolbox. Just drag that on the side. And Windows, recently closed, well, dockable dialogues. I forgot exactly which one it is, but basically it's just this re this one. It's the layers, channels, pass, undo, brush, just... That's basically it. Um, yeah, but it's pretty easy to find. I'm just assuming you know how to use GIMP. So yeah, I'm just going to show you a quick way how I do it. I just go ahead and use the pass tool. And yeah, just start making my sword. So when I make my swords, I usually just make the bottom right there but you really just want to start making your sword so there we go and now i'm just going to go on path start path and do five there we go and now i'm going to change the color later yeah so i'm just going to do a, a quick time lapse and i will be back Yeah, so basically I've got a sort of shape here and I'm just going to go ahead and add the blade and yeah, I'll be back when I'm done with that. So I have got my basic outline and now I'm going to go ahead and do some cool fills. It won't work if you have multiple layers, so you just have to stick with one layer so it can be kind of hard. That, But it still looks really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a quick line here. There we go, so now I'm just going to go ahead and use this little tool right here to select it so I can use a gradient. So I'm gonna go ahead, since this is a diamond sword, I'm gonna go ahead and go from a sort of dark blue to the foreground color, the dark blue. Okay, let's change it to the color somewhat like that. And I'm gonna do a very light blue now. I'm gonna go like. We go all the way up here, eh? Hit OK. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select the gradient tool. So I'm gonna go from here to here. Now I've got a gradients. But actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and change that up so it can have it going like that. And as you see, we have a really cool looking blue sword. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and select none and see how that looks 
looks pretty neat. And now I'm just gonna do the same with a gray thing for the handle. I'm just gonna go ahead and just like that and just like that. And it's not gonna be much of ingredients, but it will still look kinda cool. Okay, there we go. So we've got that, and now, now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that this is black again so I can go ahead and just make sure that's connected. So now I have a very fast diamond sword. I didn't really put too much effort into it, but it still looks pretty cool. So now when you are done with your sword, you just want to go ahead, click file, save, and then file export. You just want to do export as and you want to do it. You just want to do it to your desktop, you click export. There we go, so it, it has exported. So now you just wanna go to it and then you wanna click enter. And you wanna name it D diamond underscore sword dot PNG. And now you just wanna name it as the same name that the item or block has inside the folder. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my 1.10 folder. And I am going to To put this in so now we have our items and I'm just gonna put this it's named diamond underscore sword PNG actually I just failed in the writing diamond underscore sword and once you drag it in you want to drag it on top of it and then it should say an older item is named diamond underscore whatever you want to just click replace and then you are done with the diamond sword and now if you want to see how to actually look at your texture back in Minecraft the time when that happens will pop up on the screen right now so now with the blocks, it's basically the same exact thing. But you sometimes you'll have to do different sides of it, like the log. You'll have to do that side, and you'll have to also do the under. Like, same with the crafting table and stuff. You have to do three sides. It can be kind of annoying sometimes. But it is still worth the resource pack. Now, if you want to make a full resource pack, you do every single item. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, if you want to do armor, you want to go to models. And you want to go to armor. And then you'll see that there are different layers and you want to do both layers i'm not exactly sure why but you just have to but i'm not going to do the armor but i'll just show you how to do the armor but i'm not exactly going to do it in this video just because of time so i just want to discard changes or if you want to save it you can really save it if you want so now what you want to do is create so you want to do new and for the armor i just see the pixels on it so this is 64 by 32 pixels. So I'm going to make the new one 640 by 320 pixels. So then I'm just going to exit this out because I need it. And I'm just going to drag the armor in. So now this is a pic so now this is basically a picture. And you want to make this as big as you possibly can. And I'm just going to quickly scale it. Um, and you want to make sure it fits the screen exactly. Other, the web fits the screen exactly. Otherwise, it will not work and your arm will be ruined so you want to click scale and it will be all fuzzy which is very disappointing so what you want to do you basically have to fill it in on your own it's so like i'm just going to go ahead and zoom in and i'm just going to do a quick demo so now i usually just go to the line tool and i zoom in a lot and basically just go around making it look like a circle making it look like it's round but really it's just a bunch of lines so there we go. So now once you're, you're done, you just want to create a line and you just do fill thing and you want to make these parts shiny, whatever shiny, but I'm not really going to do much right now. I just showed you quickly how to do that. So, so now what you want to do is put your resource pack on the home screen and just name it whatever you want. That will be the name of your resource pack, but I'm just going to keep it as this. So what you want to do is go into Minecraft. I already had it open, so it's right old so fast. So you just want to go to options or resource packs and then open resource pack folder and then you want to just 
slide that right in that folder and you want to click done and then go back into it and then it should be there now usually it's not right on the top so you usually have to find it sometimes but yeah so just go ahead and click that arrow so now when you click done you can use your texture pack it usually takes a little while to load like i just clicked it usually takes some time to load and yeah so i'll be back when it's done loading so there we go i'm using my texture pack right now i'm just gonna go into single player now i'm just gonna go on this world i'm just gonna go full screen and there we go we have our diamond sword it looks pretty neat right now so now if you have this like in pvp or something it'll look insanely awesome and just do the same with grass and everything just every single block and it will look really good and yeah that will be your texture pack and remember to keep up because i am doing a series on making the texture pack doing time lapse and maybe commentating or putting music in the background at some times so yeah just make sure to stay tuned for that so yeah thank you all for watching if you had any problems with this please comment i will respond and see if i know what you did wrong uh, or if it just doesn't work, I don't know what to say. So thank you all for watching, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.